If you're not watching Leisure Sport, you're boring. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to another day on the coolest show for the coolest people on the internet. My name is Oyari. On the headlines, Sharon Alger says females have it better in Nollywood. And Nick Cannon says Eminem knows better now than to keep the 10 year feud going. Also, Takashi69 Baby Mama is accusing him of still being an absent dad, but he blames COVID 19. We're also talking the Lady Code 101. Nollywood actress Sharon Oja is of the opinion that women are treated better in Nollywood as opposed to their male counterparts considering how male actors are recycled for roles. The skinny girl in transit actress shared this during an IG live chat with my flatmate producer Kaya Day Peters. She also spoke exclusively on rumored sexual harassment in the industry but stated that she has never experienced it from film producers. In her words, to be honest, I think we females have it better in the industry. We get a lot of roles. There is always a role for a new face in our industry compared to the guys though. They will keep using the same guy over and over again. But for the girls, new faces are coming up every year. So I think we have it better as women. She also revealed that she has formed a habit of screening scripts. She disclosed that she only accepts scripts she believes she can deliver because she does not want to embarrass herself. On the international scene, it looks like the long-standing decade feud between Nick Cannon and Eminem is far from over. Nick Cannon has said that Eminem knows better now than to keep their decade-long feud going. In a recent interview with Billboard, Cannon spoke about rehashing his decade-long feud with the rapper at the end of 2019 and whether he was surprised that the Lose Yourself artist didn't retaliate with a diss track of his own. If you remember, in December last year, Eminem and Nick Cannon made the internet go agog when Eminem was featured on Fat Joe's song Lord Above and the rapper's verse quickly sparked buzz and controversy after he continued to reference Maria Carey. In Nick's recent interview, he said in his words, My response was his invitation to Wilden Out, and that still stands. I always give that dude his props as an icon in hip-hop. I think he knows better now. If he keeps talking about me, I'm going to keep talking back. Still on the international scene and speaking of feuds, Takashi 6 9 may have made his peace with the law, but he still has a huge score to settle with his baby mama. He has been out of prison for weeks now and his baby mama says he's still ghosting your kid, but he says that's not exactly what is going on. Now 6 9s ex Sarah Molina says just like before, he has shown little to no interest in reconnecting with their daughter Soraya. Sarah says she wasn't expecting him to change out of nowhere, but she's still disappointed by the radio silence. She is grateful, however, that Takashi's mom is actively trying to keep a bond alive with the little girl. Sarah says grandma has been in close contact over the past month or so, coming over to see Saraya in person a number of times. That's great. So why is Papa 6 and I missing in action? Sources close to the guy said the only reason he hasn't reached out and attempted to reconnect yet is because he wants the coronavirus pandemic under control first, as he wants to put his child's safety first. They also say Takashi is claiming Sarah's begging to get back with him, suggesting he is afraid she's using their daughter as a ploy to reunite. I'll be dishing you a tea from the Lady Code 101. You can scream Silver Jubilee because this is the 25th role we'll be learning. Stay tuned. Ding ding, it's time for Rule 25 on the Lady Code 101. This is huge. Now, Rule 25, which is officially the Silver Jubilee of the Lady Code, says stop bottling all those feelings up, let them out. Now, every lady should make it her sole goal and responsibility to have a healthier mental health this period, where everyone is prone to so much negativity. Now, one way to ensure that you're mentally and emotionally stable is to stop bottling all those negative emotions up and let them out. Just like little drops of water make an ocean, those little trails of bottled up emotions will eventually make the bottle explode. Now, if someone offends you, do well to let them know ASAP. And also, as soon as you do that, try forgetting about it i know this might be hard for some people but it is possible now cheers ladies to a healthier and happy life we've come to the end of today's episode of leisure spot many thanks for watching do make sure to follow 84 tv radio on all social media platforms and send in your isolation chronicles to 84 tv radio at gmail.com my name is oyari until next time remain cool and stay safe if you're not watching leisure sport you're boring <laughs>